unfortunately after christmas day many of the families are broke due to the heavy spending during the christmas season so they start seeking loans to get back to their place of work others are forced to sell some of their valuables an excerpt from page 14 of peace joy and love christmas in africa by terry lister hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and to the review of peace joy and love christmas in africa by terry lister you know i've been a fan of terry lister's writing for some times now after discovering his first book a new day dawn my solo journey into west africa and after reading immersed in west africa i'm quite enthralled with his storytelling techniques i love his depiction of the african countries even as a westerner i love the way he looks straight and describe africa in a way that it gives a swift and change in perception of what most people imagine and think of African continent. And now he has written a fantastic book that made me remember my shy do days because that's one of the things that comes to my mind when I first read Peace, Joy and Love, Christmas in Africa by Terry Lister. When I read it, I was like, wow, this is fantastic. Terry Lister had written this book like someone who has been in Africa, who has lived across Africa countries for over 20 years. Even though he did not write anything about Nigerian culture in the book, I was quite intrigued with it because the book left me thinking and kind of making a construct to compare the similarities and the difference that exists between Christmas celebration in Nigeria and some African countries. My review of this book is actually going to be a spoiler free. I won't be talking too much about the book. I'll just give you a short video book recommendation for you to have an idea of what Terry Lister has had to communicate in this his new release, which is very amazing amazing to me. So before I move into it, I just want to tell you who Terry Lister is. I'd love to read to you his bio. Terry Lister is a traveler and a writer. Proud to that, he was a partner in the Daliot accounting firm, a minister in the government of Bermuda and a realtor. He retired at 60 and has been a solo traveler for the past eight years and now has been to 98 countries including 22 in Africa. Since retiring, when he's not traveling, Lister spends time with his family relaxes with a good book or sit down to watch his favorite cricket and football team. So that's a short bio about Terry Lister. I'll say again that I've always been intrigued by his writing style. So this book, Peace, Love and Joy, Christmas in Africa, detailed Terry Lister's Christmas experiences living in 17 different African countries from Uganda to Liberia, from Morocco to, to Mauritania and Tunisia. He also talked about his experience in Syria alone to Tanzania, from Rwanda to the Gambia, from the Ivory Coast to Ghana, Kenya, Namibia, Utopia, Senegal, Zimbabwe and Cameroon. And from here, Terry Lister coupled together series from one chapter to the other, talked about how Christmas has been celebrated in each of these countries by the locals in the rural area and in the urban area and he described it in a fascinating manner that the book remind me of my childhood. One of the things that interests me the most reading through this book is a series of similarities of cultures that actually exist between these African countries with my own country Nigeria. I find out from Terry Lister's style of writing most of the things that he talked about is very relatable to how Christmas is being celebrated here in Nigeria. It talked about Santa Claus being referred to as Father Christmas. It talked about how people
people give their neighbors you know food and, and some other things to show their love for one another and to celebrate Christmas and this is something that is very predominant in society so that's one of the reasons why I was like wow this like Christmas celebration in some African countries are quite similar although Terry Lister was very keen enough to mention some countries that doesn't really celebrate Christmas like that in Africa talk about country like Morocco you know Morocco is one of those country with a high population of Muslims and in Morocco one of the things that struck me most is the fact that the book is actually quite educative it's my first time getting to know about some fact he wrote that Christmas is not very popular in Morocco and that the government even doesn't really recognize it like you know a public holiday because you know here in Nigeria we observe both Islam public holiday like Salah celebration the government also observe you know Christmas celebration and some other places so getting to hear about Morocco is quite very funny and even how the government restrict Christians at during Christmas from using public halls conference hall and they even place a law like to, to make it very illegal for Moroccans to convert from Islam to Christianity. While I read this part, well, it gave me a shift in perception and it had me resonating on the fact that this is very, very barbaric because I can't imagine how a whole country of millions of people can impose a law that converting from Islam to Christian is, is illegal. Well, I'm not trying to say this because I'm a Christian, but I just feel that religion is, is a way of life and everybody are free to do whatsoever they want to do so this actually had me resonating on the sort of backwardness I'd love to put it that way that I think that some African countries are still having in terms of religion because even the issue of religion is one of those causes of you know, African war dating back to history take a good look at history we see that ethnicity and religion is one of those crucial things that leads to war across some African countries and reading about the situation of Christmas celebration in Morocco it's quite very funny to me and I was like wow like seriously that they even even mentioned yeah that reminds me the mention of a section whereby the government plays a band on the spread of Christian literature which seems very funny to me however the book actually keep moving from one section to the other I love the author's description of how Christmas is celebrated in Utopia and how he made mention of their cultures, the recitations during Christmas time, the dramas and, and the way people exchange gifts between one another. Then he made mention of one of the wise men that visited Jesus when he was born was from Utopia and that is King Basan. Terry even wrote that he visited his tomb in Ascom in Utopia. You know when I read this part I was like wow that's quite amazing and if I ever had the opportunity to travel to Utopia I'd love to visit this historical place. You know the book is actually very very beautiful quite amazing if you're the type that you're looking forward to traveling to Africa during festive period or you are inquisitive on how Christmas has been celebrated in some African countries and I think this book might actually interest you. But one of the issues that I have it's actually my own personal issue, not an issue with the book. <laughs> when I was reading the book, it's a fact that I was expecting to release her to at least talk about Nigeria because I feel that a documentary or a discussion about Africa without mentioning Nigeria is like an incomplete story. Nigeria is seen as a giant of Africa. We have the largest population in the whole of Africa. And you know, talking about Africa to me without mentioning Nigeria is like, like a cop that is not few to the brain. Well, I'm actually looking forward to probably in Fusha time read some of his works about Nigeria. The book is very amazing, it's quite interesting to me. It had me thinking about how Christmas has been celebrated. You know, we are uh, currently in October and Christmas is a few months time now and you know very soon everybody start celebrating Christmas again even though when I read the book especially the aspect of giving gift to people it made me remember how Christmas was being celebrated in northern Nigeria because I lived in northern Nigeria for some for good number of years and then whenever the stuff has been ready remember my cousin sister we make quite a lot of big meal in a very big iron pot in order to serve the neighbor 
Morris way. Then we used to make something called Tuo Shinkafa. It's like a sort of a meal prepared from broken rice and it looks like panda jam once it's done or, or, or semo. Then it's been served together with either granite soup, krikishi soup, you might not know what that is called, or some other, you know, soup in northern Nigeria. And it was like, oh Peter, it's high time. Get yourself together. We'll put it inside a very big basket and we'll start giving one neighbor and the other. I had to go to their door and say, hello, knock on their gate, say, hello, Merry Christmas. I'm here to give you a gift. I will say, Bakada, Christmas in Aousa language. It's, it's a very fun stuff to do. And when I read the book, it had me thinking about those days and even my childhood, how we receive gifts, how we light candle and do the decoration. From reading the book, I can feel the ambience of an African environment. It's, it's actually very nice. It's very beautiful. You know, it's, it's quite fun to hear someone put down something that you can actually relate to it. And the book actually got me thinking how oh, Terry could come up writing this amazing book like someone who has lived like 20 years and experienced 20 years, you know, in Africa with, with Christmas celebration. It's quite very fun. And, you know, I'd also love to know more about how Christmas has been celebrated in some Western countries, in some different cultures like in Asia, in Europe, among the Chinese and Indian. It's quite interesting as we all have, you know, diverse us cultures, beliefs, religion, and how things have been done. But one of the things that you know terrorists seek to communicate in the book is the fact that even though some of these African countries that he had mentioned and wrote about still lack some development, are still underdeveloped, and have quite a lot of like population of people that are poor, he made mention that even despite what they are passing through, everybody take it as a necessity to give out at least what whatsoever they have to another person to a neighbor during Christmas celebration and the love to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and several other things. It's quite a nice one to read and I really really love it. I'm looking forward to reading more works from Terralista. If you love my review and you'd love to get a copy of Peace, Joy and Love Christmas in Africa by Terralista, I left a link in the description part of this review for you to get a copy directly on Amazon. Terry is actually a fantastic writer and I'm also recommending that if you love to know about you know, African countries then you might also want to check up his memoir in Mixed in West Africa or A New Day Dawn, My Solo Journey into West Africa. I left all the links in the description part of this review. Thank you so much for watching my short video book recommendation. If you want to click on the subscribe button, I want to urge you to please click on the subscribe button over there and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I release new video. Thank you very much for watching my short video book recommendation of peace, joy and love, Christmas in Africa by Terry Lister. See you in my next video. Goodbye.